So I went back to the University of Johannesburg, but this time to focus on the topic of catcalling. The Google definition of catcalling is the act of shouting, harassing, and often sexually suggestive, threatening or derisive comments at somebody. So I was very intrigued by the topic and I wanted to pick students' brains on it. But first, I had to meet up with Dumisani so he could assist me with the interviews. And of course, we were excited to see each other, even though we saw each other a week ago. So we did some interviews and this is how it all went down. So how often do you get cat calls? A lot. Boys are always out there trying to holler at you. Every day. A lot. Quite a bit. Have you seen this face? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> so how often do you cat call? I actually do it a lot, dog. Especially with my jeans, man. Like, it's a thing that we do. I never cat call. I don't cat call hands, bro. I don't do that. Do you find cat calling attractive or unattractive? Hell no. Like, I'm not your dog. Don't cat call me. No, definitely not. No, I don't. Mm -mm, it's not attractive. I feel like if they say something funny and I laugh, then yeah. So how do you think we as guys can improve when it comes to talking to women? Approach a lady politely. Guys, they don't tap us, don't try to breathe on our neck. It's not attractive, honestly. Don't come with pickup lines because that's kind of cheesy. Don't look at her in a very sexual way because that's just uncomfortable. Just make her laugh and like be yourself. What about your word? Naledi. And? Kamva. Kamva. What is a guy's definition of cake calling? Um, for me, it's like when a guy says a line to try to get you, or like makes like you know those sounds, yeah. In public, right? Yeah. yeah. While you're walking, like literally while you're walking, maybe down the street or something. I, from my perspective, cake calling is just like you know making passing remarks when hands are on their way, like passing by, just for like. You know, maybe to try and get their attention, but I feel like it's mostly for your own ego, just to like make a comment for common sakes. You feel me? Yeah. Do you know what cat calling is? Yes, it's when you do that wit boo thing. I can't whistle. Um, I don't want to be too feminist about it, but it's basically when they literally profile you by how you look and whatever you have, your hair. Your body size, whatever, they just profile you like that and men just call you that and they think it's cool and romantic, but it's not. I'm not really familiar with the term what cat calling is, my brother, but I was just explaining to it a few minutes ago that yeah. apparently it's when a hun walks by and then you just like call out if she's looking nice or whatever, whatever the case may be. I think possibly it's like when I'm just walking and a couple of group of guys just call out my name or call me baby girl or they whistle to me. Sweetheart, hey darling. I what's, the, what's the worst one you've heard? Slender. <laughs> How often do you guys get cat called by guys? A lot. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Quite a bit? Yeah. Like how many times a week? I'd say roughly like at least five times a day. Not yeah, not to sound actually, cocky, but like yeah. at least five times a day. How often do you get cat called? <laughs> Have you seen this face? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> wow okay i'm joking i'm joking but it happens often guys it happens often i can't lie not that i'm full of myself or conceited but it happens often a lot boys are always out there trying to holler at you and shoot all of that shots. yeah shoot shoot exactly all the time they're shooting their shot all the time it's, way. it's not very yeah it's nice mm -mm. so in a day how, how often do you get cat call in a day in a day maybe an average let's say twice i think twice, twice. three times yeah every day Literally, because I use taxis to come to campus. So whenever I'm walking to the to where I get the taxis, slender, hey, my size. Uh, yeah, so every day. <laughs> it's more like older guys or younger guys? Wait. Well, usually it's those younger guys, but they look like they are always high on drugs. And sometimes it's the older guys, but yeah, I think it's a mix. How often do you cat call? I don't think I've ever cat called. Hey, I do like if I see a hun, I see her attractive. I might approach her, but never just oh my babies, yeah. you know, just passing. They're by. in your ears. That's not my L ears. Yeah. L ears. Alright, alright, right, I get it. I've never, I've never actually done that in my life, bro. Uh, I never cat call. You never done it before. Nah. Cap. Yeah. Maybe I've done it when like I was drunk, but like yeah, <laughs> not like sober. A lot actually. Not <laughs> even count. I actually do it a lot, dog. especially with my jeans, man. Yeah. Like, it's a thing that we do. Yeah. Like, I think it's just normal for us now. <laughs> Does cat calling make you feel good? No, for no. me, especially when, like, you can hear with you, they, they're sexualizing you. Like, it's like, ooh, like, I hate that so much. It's, no. It makes me feel uncomfortable. All the time? 
Not all the time. It depends how they say it. That's what I'm saying. If they're sexualizing, like, then, yeah, it's very uncomfortable. Yeah, how about you? I also feel uncomfortable <clears throat> when guys can call me, especially if, like, I'm walking alone and then mm. they're like, and then I walk past because, you know, they're obviously looking at my posterior. So, like, it's like, just don't make comments about that. It's very uncomfortable. Do you guys, like, uh, find cat calling attractive sometimes? No, I don't. They never all. say the right things, that's the thing. They're going to call you Senda or Javan, and I hate that. Me with my hair, it's always my hair, 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 and I'm like, that is not nice, honestly. Mm -mm, it's not attractive. I don't like it. So what if a guy is smooth with it, like, he's respectful and like... How can you smooth about it? I like, I'll be like, hey, your mommy, Slender. you're looking good. I mean. <laughs> what if I have problems no but sometimes oh i feel like body. the things that they call you out by are sometimes your insecurity so already exactly. i'm really turned off like exactly. i'm insecure about my height and you're gonna say shorty my size like so you never find it attractive at all no so though within all the times that you've been cat called there's no time where you actually liked it or it made you feel some type of way in a good man no, there was this one incident. I was coming from my friend's uh, race because she was braiding my hair. And then these bunch of guys were care calling me. I literally turned around and I was like, <laughs> middle finger. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's rude. That's rude. Okay, nah, nah, I get it. Yeah. It made you feel uncomfortable, right? Yeah. Do you sometimes like find like cat calling attractive? No, definitely not. It's not, not ever. At all. It's so not. Even if the guy is smooth with it, like. Mm -hmm. No. Why are you waiting for me to pass by and then when I leave, that's when you decide to call on No, yeah. it's not. Okay, so you said not all the time, right? Do you sometimes find it attractive? I feel like if they say something funny yeah. and I laugh, then yeah. Okay, so they're smooth. They have rears. Yeah, when they have rears and like it's funny, then yeah. Okay, how about you? I don't. At oh. all. <laughs> I don't like it because I, I, no, I just feel like why are you doing that? Like, come up to me if you want, you, if you have something to say to me. Don't like cat call me. Okay. Do you think the the hands do they find it attractive or do they find it uncomfortable? I mean, I think it would be hard to answer from like my perspective, but I feel like if I just had to put myself in their shoes, I think it's uncomfortable, but I think it has a, a degree of appeal to it, like. Let's say uh, as a Han, you, you're putting on your nice fit for the day, you're looking nice, and then no one cat calls you. Hey, sh yeah, it kinda hit. You know, like, I assume you feel you gain me. I'm a boy, this is South Africa, dog. I don't think any Han is attracted by, like, when she's walking, trying to, like, be about a business, and the nigga's trying to be like, XA, you know what I mean? I just feel like the, the environment will obviously determine that, because I, I feel like if you're on campus, it might be a bit better, you know, but like when you're on the start or something, it's dodgy, bro, you know what I mean? So I don't think I don't think they would it like that. But obviously hands are different. Yeah, yeah. They're not the same. So I can't speak for all of them, bro. So I'd say I'd say I don't think so in my opinion, bro. Personally I don't think so, because like I feel like it makes them uncomfortable, number one. Uh number two, I feel like it's just like you're bringing her attention, like I'm amazed. I'm so like clear much eat that stuff. So how do you think we as guys can improve when it comes to talking to women? Approach a lady. Politely, gosh, like, hi, how are you? And then someone was from my ranch, and gay, how are you gonna impress her? Lie to her because that's what they do. But like, you should always don't do this thing, don't tap us, don't try to breathe on our necks. It's not attractive, honestly. Just just try to talk, say hi. That's the most polite thing you can do. Yeah, say hi, honestly, that's the best. What if, if the girl is rude? Then, yeah, then walk away, be a man. Take it in, walk away. Yeah, you, you, oh. you, you, you look good, but I look, I look good I look too. Better, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk away. So the first thing you can do, if you have the confidence for it, just come up to the girl, talk to her nice, hi, what's your name, make conversation. Don't come with pickup lines, because that's kind of cheesy. And then sometimes with pickup lines, you set a standard, like, I've got this risk. But then when you get to know the person, ah, it's lacking. So rather just, or if you don't have the confidence for it, like, come with your homie and the both of you guys like let's say for example she's with her friend also like with a group of friends just make conversation and actually like talk to her and then we can see where it goes from there if she gives you the fuck me eyes and then you know um just make her laugh firstly yeah, and yeah. also um don't like don't be like like don't sexual don't look at her in a very sexual way because that's just uncomfortable just like yeah just make her laugh and like be yourself how about you? Keep eye contact, I feel. Like, don't be roaming around. 
her whole body or you know like like she said sexualize her no keep eye contact also make her laugh i think that's a very good way to speak to and ladies. smell good <laughs> <laughs> okay smell good guys you know what to do street podcast <laughs>